Hi everyone, Julie Henderson here, and I wanted to do a video today talking about becoming a successful coach. If you are a discount coach, meaning a coach who signed up just purely for your discount on Shakeology, this video is probably not going to be the video for you. There's nothing wrong with that. We're just going to go a little bit more into um, what makes a successful coach and setting goals. So for everybody else, um, this is going to be kind of a two-part video, and I really want to have you dig deep and really think about what your goals are with this. So first part, I want you to ask yourself, what is your level of success? What is going to make you successful as a Beachbody coach in your eyes? Um, that could be anything from paying for your own product, having your own, your own um, Shakeology covered. It could be paying off credit cards. It could be putting away money for your kids' uh, school in the future. It could be replacing your income. It could be replacing your entire household's income. It could be a top 10 coach. It can be anything far in between. And um, I just want you to know right off the bat, like if your goal is only to pay for your product, that's totally okay. And it doesn't make you any less successful than a person who wants to um, be a top 10 coach. And I'm just going to pick up Andy here because if not, he's gonna jump on my, my screen. Um, so I really want you to find out, you know, ask yourself, what are your goals? Um, what what do you hope to gain with coaching and really you know put a put a specific number on things you know i want to earn a certain amount of money um if you want to get a certain rank if you want to be able to pay off a certain credit card definitely put a a number on that and make it make it definitive so you know if you've accomplished it or not so that's number one number two is really ask yourself am i doing the things that needs to that i need to do to get me to that level of success. I see so many coaches say that they want to replace their full-time income, but they don't listen to the national coach calls and they don't do the coach trainings. Um, so I really want you to ask yourself, are you listening to the national coach call every week? If not, it is so important. Um, if you can't make it for the national coach call, the replays are in the back office. I post them in the coach group every week. Um, are you going? Up to, are you making it for the team calls? Are you listening to the team call replays? Um, are you joining the boot camps? Are you joining the boot camps and not doing the assignments or thinking that you can do the assignments later and then never going back to them? Are you joining the boot camps and doing the trainings and thinking that the coaches who are running them, um, the, the information isn't that important and that you can skip some parts? Um, you know, are you really taking advantage of all the training that we have in our coach group on the team, uh, the back office? I mean, you're literally surrounded with more training than you can imagine. Um, it's just like with fitness. If you buy P90X and you don't open the box and it sits on a shelf, you're not going to get results. If you buy P90X and open it up and do half the workouts, you're going to get half the results, if that. And so coaching is no different. If you sign up to become a coach, you never log into your back office, you're not going to get results. You're not going to be a successful coach. If you sign up to be a coach and you don't check into the coach group, you half-ass the trainings, you may have some sort of success, just like if you did half the workouts, but it's not going to be fast. It's going to be very, very slow. You're going to get burnt out and you're going to wonder why it's not working. So definitely, definitely listen to what the top coaches are telling you to do. Um, myself, the other coaches on the team, and then top coaches just in the company. We, we've been there, we've done it, we know what works, we know what doesn't. So if we're asking you to do something, just do it. I know it may so some of it may sound crazy, it may se seem out of your comfort zone, um, but I just want you to really trust us. We know what we're talking about. And eventually when you start to build your team, you're gonna be the same. You're, you're gonna have customer or coaches who you just wanna shake because you're like, I see so much potential in you. Just listen to me and trust me and do what I say because I know what I'm talking about. So those are my two questions for you. So I want you to post in the comments below uh, the two parts of the question. Number one, what your goals are, what your level of success is and what you're hoping to gain out of coaching in general. And number two, are you really, really, if you dig deep and ask yourself, are you doing what needs to be done? Um, are you skipping steps? Are you doing the three vital behaviors? Are you skipping personal development? Are you not inviting people? Are you afraid to reach out to people? Um, are you, you know, doing the trainings when it's convenient? So definitely, you know, stick with it, stick with it, stick with it. Don't give up. Trust the coaches on the team and uh, you can definitely be successful too. All right. I look forward to your comments below. Bye.